Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be doing a little project. It's not a major project, it won't take that long, but it's something that I need to get done, and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. Okay guys, so what we're going to do, right over there in that corner, right about there-ish, we're going to knock a two and three quarter inch hole in the wall. Well, we're going to drill it, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> but what we got going on here is we run septic system. 90% uh, of the houses down here in Florida run on septic. Uh, as you can see, the washer is going into here, which goes into the septic tank. That is foolish. Uh, it's not against the law to uh, drain your washer outside. Um, it's just considered gray water, just soapy water. Um, we're going to take it outside and we're going to drain it. I got some, uh, some of this pipe here and once we get it outside I'm going to run a pipe out a little bit. But later on this spring what I'll do is run it into like a French drain. So, uh, but right now we got to get that because I don't want I don't want that septic tank getting full again. Now we're not going to run a uh, trap on this. We're not going to have to. Now this has got a trap on it because it goes into the sewer system. Well, the septic system. So uh, what that does is that holds water right there on that elbow right there, and that keeps um, the smell from your sewer or septic or whatever you got. That keeps that coming from from coming up into the house and fumes okay so that's why we have traps in all our drains our drains have traps just like that a lot of people think it's in case you lose something or drop something that's technically not what they're for okay it does help if you lose a ring down the kitchen sink but that's not that's not what what its intended purpose is so we're not going to run one here we're, we're not going to need to because um, it's just going to go outside. The drain is just going to drain outside. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to run another pipe. I'm just going to clamp it onto this one, and we're going to get down to the floor, and then right out to the to the outside. Um, now, if if you live in a, a colder state, colder climates, you may want to you know tape this up or stuff a rag down in there or whatever uh, to keep the cold air from coming up in or you know bugs animals like snakes or squirrels uh, we're not going to have that issue I'm going to put a screen in it once it's outside so we shouldn't have an issue with that and it's not really cold enough I'm not going to have to tape that up or anything so let me grab some tools <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead I got some new uh, PVC pipe and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut that I'm, you know I'm not going to bore you with that I'm going to go ahead and get my pipe cut, and then we're going to drill a hole right down there at the bottom. I'll get you set up on the tripod best I can. Maybe I'll get you get you put up here like this on the tripod or something so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, and I'll show you the tools that I'm going to be using too, so hang tight. Okay, here's what we got, fellas and ladies. All right, we got our masonry hole saw this thing's supposed to cut wood and everything but it should cut through the cinder block I don't know if it's going to we'll see how well if I can get a good score on it I can usually you can tap them once you get a good score on it and, and they'll break around there but you got to be careful because if you're in a wall like this and you break that whole block oh you're pretty much screwed so what I'm going to do with this okay because I'm going to you know drill through there so you're talking about you know two sides of um, you know the block you got your inside and outside uh, if I drill through here and I, if I get it off on on the wrong side you know just a little bit you know my pipes not gonna run straight through there right now I'm screwed so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run this straight through clear to the outside then I'll drill 
then I'll take this and I'll make my hole inside here then I'll go outside and that hole where this came through I'll make the hole there and then my pipe should be providing I hold the drill straight that is um, then I should have a straight run for my uh, pipe to come outside one of these is going to be down here on the bottom it's going to go like that to shoot it that way and then the other one is going to go outside like this with another piece of pipe to run the water back that way because this is it this is the edge of the house that's the corner of the house right there so then of course this was just to take off my my vent tube for the dryer okay so I uh, already got this I, I changed this bit because it just had a regular bit in it so I changed the bit and got this in here I had to buy these two pieces separate this this unit here was almost 40 bucks the cheapest one at Lowe's um, let me see what well, we bought this, 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 this is called the Arbor. These two things, and a 10 foot section of this pipe right here came to over 60 bucks. So, anyway, I thought I had a long one of these, but I didn't. I've got, it's kind of long, but it's not this long, so I went ahead and had to buy this. This was like, uh, 10 bucks itself I do believe um, <clears throat> spiders it's like they know I hate spiders and look what they give me <laughs> but man you can get these setups they're like 50 and 60 bucks just just for this just for this that's without the arbor then you gotta buy the arbor I wasn't sure if I had an arbor that would fit that so I just went ahead and bought one because I'll, I'll use it it's just the thought of having to go out and buy that stuff. Sometimes you can rent this kind of thing. Uh, hopefully, my drill will drill through there. If not, I'll have to go rent a hammer drill. But it should, if I just take my time and just let it just let it do its cutting, it should be all right. So let me get you on the stand and get you pointed down in there with some light on you. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So anyway, that's the tools we're using. I'll be right back with you. Afternoon, Monkey. Hello. I was just getting ready to start drilling holes for you guys, and Monkey came in. Yep. I said, there's something in the bedroom. Go look. Oh. <laughs> well, today's my birthday, so. Yay, happy birthday. First, she got me these. Got me a couple packs of cigarettes. And my little balloon. It says, happy birthday. Oh, my glasses on. Where are they? In there. I okay. think on the washer. And she got me meat sticks. We got mild and original in a bag. That says, hip hip hooray, it's your birthday. <laughs> Looked like a McDonald's bag when I first walked in. <laughs> I was like, great, I'm hungry. <laughs> but I don't have to worry about that. And a card which says Shea Bear. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll read that later. That's and we got a whole bag of goodies. Yeah. Another one of my favorites. Hit the like button if you guys like these. We got all these are my favorite stuff. She hasn't bought me tools in a long time for some reason. Yeah, I really don't need anything no. except that stuff yesterday. Yeah. So we got sweet tarts, we got the hot tamales. I can get you no smarties. It's hard to find them. Alright. We got junior mints. These are my favorite lollipops in the world. You guys like these? I love these and these are the big ones. Yeah. So I love these things. It's only one place you can get them. Oh my by my hand. Well, here yeah. in our town. Yeah. That's Dollar General. And there's those. And we got, we got another meat stick. And this is the firecracker, the original. Giant red hot pickled sausage. 
So she knows I get these at the gas station sometimes when we're getting ready to take a trip. And my favorite, fudge. Chocolate fudge. There we go. And there. There it is. Yeah. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> now you've got lots of munchies. Yeah. She said, what are you doing? <laughs> to get ready to cut holes in the walls. <laughs> That's to let the mice out. They ain't been out all day. <laughs> now, Snickers needs to be over there then. Uh, I've never seen a mouse. No. Here. Mm -mm. Probably because we've got all the black snakes. Probably. Keeps them away. So that's why I don't like Bruno killing the black snakes. And we have a lot of cats that are out there. Because the black snakes eat the mice. And then the neighborhood's got cats. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Usually if you live around a lot of woodsy areas, you'll have a, mice, a mouse issue. But... Yeah. Being that we got so many snakes here, we don't have to worry about them. So. I was going to get a battery for your drone, an extra one. Yeah. And, but you'll have to do that part <laughs> later. Yeah, them things are 80 bucks. Yeah, so. For the Sony, yeah. which in a drone, like the camera that I'm using here, I don't mind using uh, aftermarket batteries. Right. Because if it goes dead, you just change it. Yeah. I don't want to be 300 feet in the air and uh, have a battery issues start going off and I'm a thousand feet that way yeah. <laughs> so I ain't gonna stick to the Sony batteries and you'll get one. stuff you'll want stuff for your drone and that. yeah I want to get because we're going to be doing going over water they make a like pontoons for it. a lot of people think it's for landing on water it is not not it's, it's just, just for in case thing. yeah so in case it goes down um, and they usually will land upside down in the water but we have it protected it's right. covered underwater, so we got an insurance. So I go get those online, and he knows what he wants. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, thank you, Mama. You're welcome, baby. Kissy. All right, I got to get back to making holes in the walls and woohoo. <laughs> so and cutting pipe and all that stuff. So okay. All right. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So what I did was. I don't know if you can see that ring, but I marked this where I want it to be with the other bit. So now I'm going to just drill straight through. As you can see, that's all concrete, so <laughs> it's not hollow in that part. It's probably hollow up here. Uh, I may take it up here that's what I might do let's see I don't think this drill bits going to have the guts to go all the way through concrete it's the same way so let's just keep going till we get to the outside We're almost there Alright, now let me change the bit. We'll keep drilling. I'm gonna keep drilling. I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so we got the hole in here. I still ended up going outside. I started in here, then I went outside and drilled in as far as I could. Then I came in here, finished it up. Then I went outside and just popped that through. But see, you can see the outside there. So now I gotta get all this cleaned up here and go cut some pipe. And I'll show you how we're gonna do this. It's real simple and then as far as uh, around here, just put some caulking around it. And it'll be fine, a lot of guys will put mortar around it, but it's not necessary. 
you can but i just always ran a bead of caulking whenever i went through something like this and it just all it really does is just keep uh the little animals out the you know we got the salamanders down here and stuff and and mostly like the cold air but we don't have to worry about that too much because it'll stay cold any cold air will stay down here anyhow but uh i will go ahead and run a bead of caulking around that once we get it through there so let me go cut some pipe okay guys so i already got this glued on as you can see uh just going to put a little bit of this primer on here. Look at this under there. I don't want it all over the floor. Okay, so, well, so much for that, huh? Oh, well. I'm covered up anyway. So let's go ahead and put our primer in here, clean that off. I'm working in like. 18 inches of space here and my width is about 30 so okay you got me it's 34 but anyway all right so we got this on there i'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then we'll get this clamped up and we'll go outside put it on out there i'm not going to glue it outside because i'm going to be removing it later so at a later date all right, so I can't believe that little drill made it through there. I was going to go rent one. I was going to go rent a hammer drill. That's 40 bucks a day. I said, you don't sell them by the hour. I just got to drill one hole. Excuse my arm. She's like, nope. Sell them by the day or you don't rent it. I was like, yeah. Well, guess what? I ain't going to rent it, bitch. Probably shouldn't have said that, but... I mean, Jesus. You know, I bought a lot of stuff off of that hardware store. Now, we're gonna scoot that in there. I'm gonna hold it for a minute, just for a second. Then I'm gonna give it a little twist. All right. See, outside, if it comes off, it don't matter. It's going on the ground anyway. And here, if it comes off, we got a flood. I don't like floods. Okay, so now, I cut this a little long, but that's all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mount that on there, just kind of like up against it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this stuff out of here. There's that. I'm just going to put a couple of those clamps around there. There's the hole I was in. <laughs> okay, so always always put myself in a hole, right? So yeah, what I'm gonna do is just put a couple hose clamps around there. Uh, down towards the bottom where it's more sturdy. And I think that'll be it. So let me see if I can get you on a pot again. This is kind of my setup there. Alright, and all right, let me get you set up and we'll put the clamps on. Okay guys, so now let's just go ahead and clamp this on here. It's got a couple old hose clamps there that her dad had uh, in the bins over there. It'll be just fine for what we're gonna be using it for. It's not holding any weight or anything like that. solid down here at the bottom so I'm going down here at the bottom and I think it will be fine 
go ahead and tighten this one up all the way. Kind of overkill, but it's all I have other than the next size down from these. And they were just quite not long enough, two of them. So and then we got to put our our vent hose back on the dryer. So then we'll turn the washer on. Whoa. There we go. And we'll, uh, say that's good enough. That's all it needs. Then we'll turn the washer on. I don't know if you guys. Ah, you can't see it. Okay, so then we're going to turn the washer on and, um, let it run, let it drain outside and see what's going on. But first I'll show you what we're going to do outside. I'm going to go ahead and put this tube, my uh, vent tube for the dryer, I'm going to put it in, hook it up through the wall, get this back in, get this pushed back, and we'll go outside and finish up. Okay guys, so here we go. Now we're going to put this pipe on. Don't you hate it when you're 99.9% .9 of the job is done then the damn foreman comes out and wants to get I on your ass are you, are, are, you, are, you, are you done this right here here let me help you with that it's like yeah when all the hard stuff's done okay so all right let me get you set down here like i said i'm not going to glue this because it's going to be changed later so i'm you just going to pop off if it's not glued well if it pops off Where's it going to go? On the ground. Yeah. So I'm just going to stick this on there like that. Yeah, huh. See, here you go. You're going to have to. <laughs> well, you just said it, so I was just helping you. All right. There. Now what we'll do, see, this is. Well, I know the camera's not picking it up, but it's like almost a foot higher there than it is here because this is where rain runs off the roof. Yeah. Nobody has gutters down here. It's like that all the way through there. Yeah. So if that would pop off, it's just going to run right down here where the water's draining. So we're going to go in. We're going to run some water in that, and then we're going to pump it out, and we're going to come out and check this out. Okay, guys, I got monkey in here. I'm going to knock on the door. There it goes. All right. Doesn't take long. So what I'm going to do, what I was saying was, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to bring it straight down here. I'm going to dig a trench out here. Oh. Yeah, it's already pumped it out. You know, 20 feet maybe. I'll dig a trench. Uh -huh. put some gravel in it and I'll put some French drain in put some gravel on top of it and cover it back over then it'll just seep through the yard and that'll be good so all right let's go in the house I'll give you my final thoughts okay guys so there we put the drain in knock that off once mm -hmm. out well put it outside so like I said check your state to make sure but I know down here in Florida you don't you don't have to worry about it uh, you can run your sinks outside your bath water outside that's gonna save us money that's going money well yeah because of the septic thing you know, yeah you don't filling up. it even says I looked it up online and and a building code inspector even said it was foolish to run it into your septic if you got sewer city sewer that's no problem but if you got septic he said it's foolish <laughs> Uh, run it outside um, Some people will bury a big bucket down in there. I'm just going to French drain it. You don't have to but for code you would You know like if they wanted to come and check code on that 
sometimes he said they'll frown on it but he said usually not but uh the way to go would be french drain it that way it just it gets it out over a more of a, a footprint i guess you could say so mm. Mm. it'll be better we think boss I think it'll be better okay so all i gotta do is caulk around that hole it'll be fine yay you happy now well yeah <laughs> it should be look at my hat it turned white yeah all right guys so <laughs> thanks monk <laughs> well, i was gonna get you a big one but they were all deflated Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, there was no, no helium. No helium? No. Oh, so okay. I got you a tiny one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> so, guys, she got me a a, uh, a card that's got a monkey on it picking yeah. its nose. Mm -hmm. It said something about jazzing up my birthday and then you open it up. I thought I'd put a little boogie in it. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway... <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Funny, huh? It took a while with my little drill, but it, it did it. Yeah, it did do it. Well, the clutch is going bad. You know how you can set it to drill, or you can set it to where it'll ratchet. Like, once something gets tight, it'll ratchet. Oh. It won't stay onto the drill. And then when I would hold it to where it'd stay on the drill, it still kept wanting to ratchet. So, that drill's about had it. She had that when we got together. So. Oh, that's a Harbor Freight thing yeah and trust me i use something you know it'll go or blow one of the two um but like i said earlier you know i called the parts the hardware store and they they only rent them by the day it was 39 something plus tax 40 bucks to rent it i said you don't just you can't i can't just rent it for an hour and i got one hold of drill she said well you can rent it all day or you don't have to rent it said, well fuck you i ain't gonna rent it then bitch <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me i mean who the fuck does that so anyway shea bear the mental man legend i'm gone for now monkey says she's out for now guys all right thanks for watching guys appreciate it i gotta clean my hat Ugh. bye bye y'all